Hey folks, so today we're going to talk about a line graph. So last time we did bar and pi, and we talked about how bar graphs are good at comparing numbers. It makes it really easy to see which one's the most, which one's the least, okay? And we talked about how a pie chart, the circle, is for showing parts of a whole. So we had, we had all of the cars that we saw and we could see this much was black cars and this much was white cars. So out of the total, it, it's really good for making those kinds of comparisons. Today we're gonna to talk about a line graph, okay? And a line graph has a different purpose. A line graph is really good for showing change over time. So to illustrate what I mean by that, I've already got my data up, okay? And for your assignment, I'm gonna just give you data this time. But my data starts at 9 a.m. and I've got Walmart, so this is cars in the parking lot, okay? Cars at Walmart and cars at Target by the time of day. So at nine o'clock in the morning, I drove over there yesterday, I counted the cars, of course I did, okay? And there were 47 cars at Walmart, and there were 35 cars at Target, okay? Then at noon at 12 o'clock p.m., I went over again and I counted again. And so that's gonna to start to show me a change over time. Are there more cars than there were or are there less, right? So at Walmart, we had 63, at Target 40, okay? Went back at 3 p.m. because I had, I had nothing else to do yesterday, guys. I'm just counting cars, okay? So 29 at Walmart, 50 at Target. So we had a switch, okay? Target pulls into the lead. At 6 p.m., this is the after work crowd, 75 cars at Walmart, 65 at Target. And then at 9 p.m., so the late night shoppers, 15 at Walmart, 85 at Target, okay? So you've got two, two things that we are counting over and over again, right? It's different than saying, I just counted the cars for 10 minutes, there were seven blue, five red, two white. Okay, that's, that's a bar graph situation. Here, I'm counting the same thing. How many cars are at Walmart? At nine o'clock, at 12, at three, at six, at nine. I'm counting the same thing over and over again with the added element of time to see how it changes. And that is what a line graph can show you really well, okay? So now I'm going to take my data that I have here and I'm gonna chart it, I'm gonna graph it. So if we, if we slide over here and we look at my graph, okay? On the vertical axis here, I have numbers and these numbers show how many cars I went all the way up to a hundred because I have as many as 85 in my graph I just thought a hundred would be a good stopping point okay and then along the bottom axis I have times 9 12 3 6 9 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two lines I'm going to use different colors one for Walmart one for Target and I'm going to show how that changed over time. So first we're going to do Walmart in blue. Okay, so at 9 a.m. we had 47 Walmart cars. So I'm going 9 a.m. and I'm kind of like doing this kind of a thing and connecting dots or connecting two lines and finding it, placing a dot where those lines connect. So 9 o'clock, 47 cars at Walmart. Nine o'clock, I'm going up. I don't have a 47 on my graph, but I have a 50. 50 is just you know, a little bit more than 47. So I'm gonna go just below 50 at nine o'clock. See, so it's like if I drew an imaginary line, nine o'clock, 47, that's the spot, okay? And I just put a dot, just that dot, okay? That dot tells me 9 o'clock, 47. The next data point I had was 12 o'clock, 63. 
okay, well, I don't have a 63 on my chart, but I have a 62. So I go straight up from 12 and I line it up with where I think 63 would be. Okay. And now I have two dots and I can start to connect those and make a line. Okay. At three o'clock, 29, three o'clock. I don't have a 29. 29 is somewhere between 25 and 37. Okay. Right about there. So we had a fall off. Okay. Here's, see, I'm connect, then I start to connect dots. Okay. Then at six, it was back up to 75. Here's six o'clock. I have a 75, so that's easy. We're back up here. And I'm connecting dots. Okay. And then at 9 p.m., it falls away off to 15. I don't have a 15, but I have a 12. It's a little bit more. Oops. Okay. So that's my dot. It's above 9 o'clock. It's across from where I think 15 would be. 15 is a little more than 12, right? So that's where I think it should be. And then I connect the dot. Okay. So this shows me how. The cars in the parking lot just at Walmart changed over the course of a day. Okay. The busiest time was six o'clock right after work. The least busy time was late at night, at nine o'clock. But if you could go in the middle of the afternoon, that wasn't bad either. If you want not busy times. Okay. Now I'm going to do target. Okay. And so I'm going to have two lines on this. And that'll show me how these two things changed differently. I can compare the changes. So 9 a.m. I'm back to the start of a day. You can't see over there. 9 a.m. for Target was 35. Okay, so 9 a.m. 35 is a little bit less than 37. So I'm coming straight up from 9, straight over from 35. That's my first Target dot. Okay, at 12, they had 40. Okay, here's 12. 37, 40 is a little bit more than that, right there, okay? Okay. At three, they had 50. At three, they had 50. Hmm. Okay, so at three o'clock, Target was busier. Six, 65, six, 65. Okay, so Target also gets the after work spike, but not quite as much as Walmart does. Okay. And then at 9 p.m., 85. 9, 85. So that's, that's where they were way different, right? Target got busier and Walmart got less busy. So, line graphs. Line graphs show you change over time. They show me that the number of cars at Walmart changes a lot during the day, busy times and slow times. The number of cars at Target tends to just trend up. So like I would want to go to Target early in the morning if I could, right? Okay, on your assignment, I'm going to give you data. I'm going to draw the chart and you just need to plot the line graph. And then I'll put some questions about the line graph on the second page. I know you guys love answering questions. It's like what students live for, right? What else do you have to do?